Welcome to Toilet Tech. We are based in Seattle, Washington. Our sole focus is waterless toilet solutions for high-use public sites. We have toilets in North America, South America, as far south as Patagonia, and as far north as Glacier Bay, Alaska. We have dozens of toilet units in BC parks at some of the most beautiful and remote sites, in Stratcona Park, in Squamish, in Garibaldi near Whistler, in the Kootenays, as well as the high-use winter sites such as the Camor Nordic Center. We have toilets at Mount Rainier, Pant Point, and also at Camp Muir, Smith Rock State Park, an exceptionally high-use year-round desert park, and a toilet in Colorado. The critical technology component that differentiates toilet tech from the rest of waterless toilets, such as composting toilets, is our urine diversion conveyor belt toilet seat. We call this the behind the wall, or BTW system, and I'd like to show you how this works over the next minute of the video. This conveyor belt toilet seat is placed inside our structurally insulated panel, composite toilet structure, and its primary function is to separate urine from the human salt waste at its source, so that urine and fecal matter do not mix. Urine is collected and drained off the lower, bottom portion of the conveyor belt, and the solid waste sticks to the conveyor belt and is moved up the conveyor belt by the action of the foot pedal. This also displaces the waste away from the toilet hole, so that the second user does not have to see it. The conveyor belt system is made from highly robust stainless steel and high-density plastic and nylon parts. It is robust enough to handle trash and any number of other objects. These objects can be pumped out of the way prior to use, as this is what tends to happen in a waterless toilet setting. The unit is accessible by wheelchair, and an additional hand crank can be added to make the system functional for handicapped people. Maintenance is usually required after 10,000 uses, and this involves shoveling the waste pile from one section of the collection bin to another, adding water, and then letting decompose our organisms that are native to the soil break down the waste. The waste collected between these periods usually reduces in mass and volume by 75% or more. 